from Maui, Hawaii. I'm Stephanie Carter, the president of Walworth Hat Company, and we're doing a follow-up segment with Mary Shackleton, my friend and naturopath from Boulder, Colorado. So today we're going to talk a little bit about some healthy habits for sun safety and also some post-melanoma tips. Thanks for being here, Mary. You're welcome. We got into this conversation because I told Stephanie that I was diagnosed with melanoma in 2010. And since that time, I've made it really a mission of mine to really talk to patients who've had similar diagnoses, what they could do to stay healthy. So there's a lot of things you can do from a dietary standpoint, as well as lifestyle, things that you can adopt so that you reduce your risk of having such a diagnosis. First of all, no burning, no wearing sunscreen at all times, um, covering up as much as possible. I never thought I would be the kind of person that wore long sleeves like this in the sun, but I do. And I actually sit in the, in the shade quite a bit. And from a dietary perspective, the research shows that when somebody's been diagnosed with melanoma, their prognosis is better if they get a tiny bit of sun. So if you get a little bit of sun, not burning, just a little bit of sun, and also the, um, it, the increase in phytonutrients in your diet, which are dark pigmented colors, cabbage, carrots, red peppers, uh, kale or dark green leafy vegetables, all of those pigments are protective. They're called phytochemicals and they're antioxidants that protect against radiation damage. So the more um, your, your food or your shopping cart looks like a rainbow, the better off you are in terms of prevention for skin cancers. Great. And remember, stay safe. Remember to wear sunscreen all the time. Always wear sunglasses. And of course, wear a broad-brimmed hat like a Wallaroo hat, which are packable, one size fits most and easy to travel with so you can always be protected from the sun even when you're out enjoying all of the outdoor activities that we all love so much. So thanks for being with us and thank you Mary for such an informative